Welcome to another edition of Credit Matters TV. On June 1, 2016, S&P Global Ratings affirmed its A-plus long-term issuer credit rating on the province of Ontario in Canada after last year downgrade. Today, we are with Steve O'Gilvy, Director in the Public Finance Team in Canada, to talk about the reasons behind our affirmation of the rating after last year downgrade. Hi, Steve. Hi, Danny. Why we affirm Ontario's rating after last year downgrade, Steve? Can you share with us our main analytical points? Since our last review, budgetary performances have strengthened and debt has peaked. In our opinion, there is no longer any downward pressure on Ontario's rating. However, on the upside, we were going to wait for a track record to be established before any positive rating action can occur. And what are our expectations on the province fiscal performance for 2016 and 2017? For operating results, we expect modest operating deficits to turn into modest operating surpluses. On the after capital side, we expect after capital deficits to become smaller, but we do not expect after capital surpluses in the next two years. Debt levels on the province of Ontario are still high, not only compared to national, but also international peers. How we expect that to evolve in the next few years? By our estimation, the debt burden peaked in 2015 and declined in 2016. For fiscal 2017 and beyond, we expect the same kind of declines we saw in 2016. But having said that, it will take some while before we will be able to say that Ontario's debt burden is no longer high. And finally, what will it take for the province to return to the AA category? There are two conditions at a minimum. First, we need to see that the province is consistently producing operating surpluses. Second, we need to see continuing declines in Ontario's debt burden. But as I said before, it's going to be some time before we're able to say that Ontario's debt burden is no longer high. And as well, other key rating factors such as the economy, financial management, and liquidity must remain the same or improve. They can't deteriorate and offset the improvement in budgetary performance and debt burden. Thank you, Steve, and thank you for watching. If you would like to access to our full report on the province of Ontario, please go into our webpage. Thanks again.